Hello everyone, for today's video is I'm going to show you how to operate the steering gear system. So what we are going to do here in this scenario is we need to operate the steering gear and put it on automatic afterwards. We need to make sure that our operation of our steering gear is as per regulations. So we, we need to make sure that uh, if there is only one pump running, then from 15 degrees port side to starboard side, it needs to, uh, to be at one minute and from if there are two steering gear pumps running both one and two it should operate from 35 degrees port side to 35 degrees starboard side within 28 seconds so, so what you can see we have low level alarms in our expansion tanks and our oil sumps and we can only access only a few of our systems so let's go back here in the steering gear system and in order to start the simulation I need to press shift F1 so we need to top up our you have only 10 minutes to fulfill the assessment you only have 10 minutes click open but we need to open the valves going to our oil sumps in order to fill it up open the oil filling valve and we need to make sure that it will be normalized So as you can see, our oil levels are already normalized. We can now close our oil filling valve. And we need to open the valves going to our steering gear. Close the bypass valves. Open the safe matic valve block. And now is we are going to check the steering gear pumps one and two, one by one, and both. So I need I will start to run this steering gear pump number one. And as what you can see, it will, it will not run. So it's possible that we need to make sure that the breaker of the steering gear are in on position. Okay, breakers are in. Let's go back and let's try again to run it. Now it's running. Let's see. high differential pressure so press shift F12 to silent and acknowledge the alarm so we need to stop our steering gear pump number one and we need to clean the filter so click M find the steering gear filter number one dirty click reset as if that we have already cleaned okay now let's try again And that's what you can see it is already normalized so we can now try to check the functionality of steering gear pump number one so i'm going to click hard port i'm going to check first hard port Yes, what you can see, it's working properly for hard port. Let's try hard starboard.
okay it's working well so it's very hard starboard now is I'm going to start steering gear pump number two and check for its proper operation for hard port and hard starboard and for the meantime we can now stop our steering gear pump number one okay so let's check hard port Okay, it's working well. We need to check as well for hard starboard. So we're going to check for both pumps, hard port, hard starboard. Okay, one is safe. So you should not operate it immediately, right after the startup of the steering gear pump. Otherwise you will have this high amperage. Fine, our starboard. So I repeat, it's preferable not to start immediately, right after the starting of the steering gear pump. Otherwise, you will encounter the high amperage alarm. Okay, so as what you can see. Both hard port and hard starboard was already uh, checked for both pumps and it's working fine. Now is we are going to put both pumps on remote. Both remote. Let's go here on the panel directory and as what you can see we cannot access the pump or compressor control. So we can put the steering gear pumps on automatic on ship course control. And here you can put it on automatic. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something new for today. Bye bye. Ciao.